Welcome back, everyone, to Fallout 4, the fastest man who survived. Last time we left off, Barry freaking Allen had become the Silver Shroud. Uh, and we uh, piss some people off who want to kill us. And we are going to go kill two people. Well, the Flash doesn't kill, he just maims and incapacitates. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We have to take care of uh, Northy and Smiling Kate. And uh, we're right by where Smiling Kate is, but since we're already here, before we go take care of her, there is something we should check out first. And that is Ticonderoga. You there. Sorry. Bunker Hill. What? Bunker Hill. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right, come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. This is Bunker Hill. It's just a little trading outpost. There's some quests you can pick up here, and uh, one of the railroad quests takes you out here. Yeah, <clears throat> Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Whoop. Let's uh, not talk to him just yet. Don't I the Brahmin. Yeah, there's honestly not a lot to Bunker Hill in this current situation. I uh, sold some ammo and cleared out the one lady of all her caps. Uh, you can always do the... Uh, oh, really? I can't go through that? That sucks. Um, you can do the tour with Meg over here. I, I don't think you really get anything in particular for doing that. She just kind of takes you on a tour of, of Bunker Hill. Uh, now, it is worth noting if you are uh, playing the game as a uh, sniper or a character that does a lot of ranged melee, not ranged melee, that's stupid, ranged attacks, It's and you're doing this quest right here, it's definitely worth your time to come up into the tower, uh, because while you can't really tell, over there in the distance there's some people, and one of them is Smiling Kate, who we're supposed to kill. Uh, if you have a sniper rifle and you're a pretty steady aim, it's actually really easy to uh, not necessarily take her out from here, because, ooh, she is, she is spongy. But, um, you can, uh, you can put a pretty good dent in her. Anyways, now we know where Kate is, but, uh, Barry Allen is not a murderer, so he doesn't have a gun to use, which means it's time for a change. As Barry becomes the Silver Shroud. What, you, you thought we were going to be the Flash for this? No, we're the Silver Shroud, damn it! That being said, I did put the belt on with the, uh, Shroud outfit so that I could still get my, uh, bonuses to my speed and whatnot. Well, I mean, I'll change out to the faster belt once I get a little closer. So glad you could all come out and play. If it isn't the boy behind the costume. Mm, you've been really naughty, Mr. Shroud. Making all my friends so nervous with your calling cards. Taking out Sinjin's favorite toy soldiers. But now it's time. To rip your goddamned heart out! <laughs> Boy, she doesn't even have a uh, persuade option. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, throwing the uh, flash belt on with a silver shroud costume seems to be the way to go for this because it lets me still have access to my uh, super speed, um, but uh, uh, still let me wear the shroud costume. I tried just doing the gloves, but uh, because of where the gloves are in the uh, armor set, they uh, they get rid of the entire silver shroud suit, which sucks. Um, I kind of wish the belt wouldn't clip through, but the shroud armor is designed not to be worn with anything else. Uh, the belt, I I don't even know where the belt figures in in the armor set. Cause you don't really get belts in the game. You get, uh, you get clothing items, hats, glasses. Uh, you don't even get gloves, really, so I'm not sure how the mod makes all that work. 
Uh, I am wearing the fastest belt right now, by the way. But since I don't have the other armor pieces on, you don't see as much of the speed as you do when I stack them normally. Now that Smiling Kate is dead, we have to go take care of Northy, who is over here. Uh, ignore the other one over here. That's the optional assassinate Shelly Tiller that we have. Uh, but we're not going to do that because we're not an assassin. We're the Flash. Anyways, let's go find Northy. Thanks to some slow time in the Flash belt, we're here largely without incident. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, that's right. He's got a bunch of people with him. And they are now shooting at me. All right. Raider Scum is here now. Uh, Northy, meanwhile, is uh, being a coward. Kendra and Delancey are six feet under. The Silver Shroud claim the hits. Northy. Sinjin wants you to keep up the recruiting efforts. We need more warm bodies after we deal with the costume. And don't worry, Kate's gathering a bunch of meatheads to take the shroud out. The boss ain't happy. Now's not a time for failure. He's getting personally involved. He's gonna pay the shroud's flunky friend a special visit in Good Neighbor. After he's done with that, he'll check in. He'll expect results. Uh, Tin Pines Bluff has tragically suffered damage as the result of an attack. Is <laughs> anyways. So yes, we have to get back to Good Neighbor because Kent is in danger. Let's hurry. Search the body for clues. I already searched the body though. Oh god. It's doing a thing again where I grabbed the thing out of order and now the game is pitching a fit. Uh, let's see what happens when we just go to Good Neighbor. Yeah, over by Good Neighbor I've got the Find Kent mission, but uh, because I grabbed that before I technically had the uh, Search the Body for Clues quest, it won't clear it. I may have to clear it in console commands later, but I don't think the quest is broken. Let's go see what happens. Hello, has anyone seen my ward? Oh, it's you! Oh, Sugar, I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, God. We got business that needs finishing. What happened to Kent? Where is he? They, they took him. Raiders, nothing but bloodlust in their eyes. We, we couldn't stop them. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Error's over. She won't be... What? Oh, God! What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. What? What are you doing? What? Ah! Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Do it, Shroud! Do it! Oh, my knee! Ah! So you may have noticed the uh, optional quest that popped up there. Brother. Save Kent Connolly. 
That's important if you're wanting to use the Silver Shroud armor in the game. Because if Kent dies, you can't get the Silver Shroud armor updated. It's worth noting you don't have to just save Kent either. You have to convince him that there's merit in being the Silver Shroud. It's pretty tricky, but I have an advantage. I have super speed. Shrug. Worth noting, search the body for clues is still up. Oof. Sinjin is actually all the way down here, which would be problematic if I wasn't, you know, the fastest man alive. We're gonna go to the Boston Police Rationing site and just start from there, and uh, I'll see you all at the hospital. Uh, this is an interesting one that I've never run into before. A dog in a cage. I, um... No way I could pick this. Uh, sorry, buddy. And here we are just outside Milton General Hospital. Oh god, I thought that was a raider, but it's just a motorcycle. To be fair, they look relatively similar. I can't really remember much about this hospital. I remember the Sinjin fight. It's in a kind of an open arena. Uh, like I said, there's a big deal about a... Uh, oh, blue dress, that's not good to me. Um, it's kind of a big deal about how you have to uh, save Kent. It's really hard to do the first time through. I had to do it several times. Sinjin takes a lot of damage and uh, when the fight starts he's right by Kent. The, your best case scenario is you just get lucky and you uh, get a persuasion uh, success. I'm sorry. It's not even that late. I'm just not talking right right now. Your best case scenario is to uh, pass a persuasion check and convince him to uh, make Kent watch you die. I uh, saw this vase and I'm not going to lie to you, I was hoping it was a giant bottle of Wonder Glue. I need to go do some crafting and reinforce my settlements, especially after Ten Pines Bluff. That will probably be off camera largely though. Hello. That was interesting. Oh, I thought for sure that was a staircase. Yeah, I can't really... What is this? Pipe revolver. Ooh. Did I get lucky? I did. See, this is why I took that perk. I don't know why that was considered stealing. Basement. Locked tight. I am disappointed that that was not two sneak attack criticals. A nurse handy? Oh, you, you are. Ooh. starting to get the hang of this super speed fighting thing. He said before he died terribly. I got some blood on my coat. I should probably run around at super speed to clear that up. There we go. All better. Okay, moving on. Second. How appropriately confusing. I seem to... Oh god, I hope I didn't fall through the floor or something. No, I think I just screwed up the camera. Oh, god. Uh, wait. What? Uh... You're dead! I fell through... Did I... 
I fell through the floor! Oh god, too fast. Second floor. Hmm. Hey guys, what a trip that was, huh? Uh, I think that's the elevator that takes you down to actually fight Sinjin. Just real quick, gonna run around out here and make sure uh, there's nothing else over here. Uh, that marker we can ignore. That is the marker leading us to assassinate Shelly Tiller, as well as to inspect the body for clues as to where, fi where to find Sinjin, which we've uh, done pretty well, I think. By the way, you'll be tempted when you come through here the first time to drop down there and see what's going on on that level, but uh, if you're anything like me and you don't have any kind of spatial awareness in this game, you should know that you shouldn't do that because that's the way you leave. So it, you just have to run all the way back here. Alright, I have uh, saved the game. I've robbed the place blind as best I'd like to right now. He says as he ignores the uh, nuke quantum right there. We're uh, gonna go deal with Sinjin now. Say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. What do you want, Sinjin? We'll get to that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human. And you're weak. You came here, and for what? You little sidekick? Friends don't make you weak, they make you strong. I can play you like a chump because you care about a weakling like this, and you think that's strength? So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to good neighbor, and kill every last worthless bastard there, and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. You know what would really get to Kent? Killing his friend. His hero. Right in front of him. Nice try! Say goodnight, Kent. What the- <laughs> No, 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 no! Yes! Critical! Oh god, did he shoot Kent? I think he shot Kent. Ah, damn it. Alright, we weren't fast enough that time to save Kent, so let's try it again. You. Oh, now it's uh, right, that time I got too close and Shinjin just shot Kent on sight, so let's try that again. I'm going to attempt to do this as the Shroud. I don't want to chant. I have gear where I could give myself another three points of charisma, but I don't want three points of charisma. Let me tell you what sounds like a good plan considering all the trouble we're having with this game. You know what would really get to Kent? Killing his friend. His hero, right in front of him. <laughs> yes! Enjoy the show, Kent. After I'm done with the Shroud, you're next. Worth it. In every feasible fashion, totally worth it. Right. Sinjin first. Sinjin above all else. There we go. Sinjin is down. Now Avery. Another critical on her. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the masses. I think that's everyone. Yeah! Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. Are you all right? My leg is killing me, but it could have been so much worse. I just give up on all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You, you're right, but I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to good neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me, but I'm just done. Kent. I just need time to recover, you know? Kent bounces back eventually. Oh yeah, let's check Sinjin's body. Can't remember what he has on him. Uh... Yeah, nothing really useful. 
Yeah, I hadn't intended to use those points on charisma, but um, I'm not having any trouble with combat. I'm having trouble with charisma checks. Um, I think I called them persuasion checks a few minutes ago because I'm an idiot. Don't let anyone tell you Let's Plays are easy. You have to be just on. Good lord. Anyways, I'm fine spending those two points on charisma. Uh, I took off my flash belt, so I'm running like a bit of a jackass right now. As opposed to when I have it on and I run like a totally normal person. But yeah, while I wasn't planning on using those points on charisma, I feel that's a worthwhile investment because I am running into a lot of charisma checks that I'm having trouble with. I probably should go ahead and put a point in lock picking because as I said, the combat's not really giving me any trouble. Uh, you have to remember, I'm still using the flash knuckles. I have two exponentially stronger unarmed weapons that I haven't even used yet. The uh, Furious Power Fist and the Large Death Claw Gauntlet. I move much slower with that belt off. Anyways, let's go to Good Neighbor and speak with Hancock as the Silver Shroud. Nice pit boy. Who'd you kill to get that, huh? You ever tried chess? The deed is Sometimes done. Sometimes you need to sacrifice. The a dreaded Sinjin breathes going. no more. Keep that in mind. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. Hmm. We get to watch. I that just need time to recover. One you know. More day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This... This means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. And so with that, the Silver Shroud looked over his purview and good neighbor. And lo it was, kind of a piece of shit. A huge dump. He in fact could not believe anyone would choose to live here good lord well it's been fun but i think this concludes the adventures of the silver shroud for now at least who knows what the future holds for that wondrous adventurer but there would be more adventures to come because unbeknownst to the people of good neighbor the silver shroud was barry allen and he's the fastest man alive. He was the Flash. Thank you very much, everybody.